Hello my lovelies, welcome to a crafting video. Today we will be making a lanyard with beads. Let's begin. For this video you will need lanyard cord, some pony beads, and a key ring. Let's start by separating our colors. We're going to find the centers of our cords. So take the ends of the color and stretch it out until you find the center of it. When you stretch it out, you will find a loop at the end of it, and that is your center. Do the same with the second cord. After you find your centers, you are going to overlap them and make an X on your finger. Make sure that your bottom color is going up and down, and the color on the top is going side to side on your finger to make this process easier for you. Place your thumb over the X, and we are going to take the color that is going up and down, for me that's blue, and loop it over our thumb. Once that's done, we can open our loops a little to make things easier. As you can see, the cord has an open side and a closed side. You want to feed your side to side cord, for me that's purple, over and under through the loops. Make sure that the cord is flushed against the side that is closed. Do the same with the second cord, but on the opposite direction. Now you can remove your thumb from under the cords and pull them together. It should create a box. Keep making boxes by pulling the cords of the same color over. That way it creates two loops on top. And the other color should go over and under the loops. Make sure to pull on your cords tightly. Continue to make boxes. Every box you do is a layer. I decided to do 40 layers before I added a bead. You can do however many layers you want to do. You can count your layers by counting the bumps on the side of your layer. Every bump is a layer, so that's how you can keep track of how many you've done. This is what my lanyard looks like by the time that I wanted to add a bead. Feed your cords through a pony bead and now you will be able to continue your lanyard by making a box over the pony bead. Keep the colors of your cords in line as you open them up. Take one cord and make your loops. And with the other cord, go ahead and feed it through those loops. When you're making your box, make sure that your bead is on there straight before you tighten it, or your lanyard will come out crooked. Now that you did one square, we're going to do a circle shape between the beads. 
To do a circle shape, instead of going straight across, you place your loop cords at a diagonal and the other cords will do the same as you do with the square pattern. Skip the first loop and under the second loop. Make sure that your cords don't get twisted before you tighten them. The tighter you pull your cords, the neater your lanyard will look. Continue to do this with your cords. I did 10 layers for the spacing between my beads. As you can see, the circle shape spirals to the top is square, and that part is circle. You're going to do this for every bead. You can use as many beads as you want or as little beads as you want. The spacing between your beads is all up to you. You could do more than 10. You could do less than 10. I just like the look of 10 layers in between each one of my beads, so that's what I did. Once you get to the last bead, you will go back to using the square shape. I did another 40 layers. Once you're done with your layers, you will cut the cords as short as you can. Please ask your parents to help you burn the ends of your cords. We do this so that the plastic melts to itself and it closes off our lanyard. Now we will go back to the top of our lanyard where we started. You will stretch out the overlapping cords so that you can slip your keyring into it. Once your keyring is on, you are all finished. Thank you for crafting with me, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. You just learned a new skill today. You can even try to teach somebody else. Enjoy your new keychain. Take care.